Cuando el corazón, cuando el corazón nos habla de amor, revive la fe, flores de la ilusión, cuando el corazón recuerda a una mujer, la vida es gozar y el vivir es querer. Getting to know 20 tango orchestras, just as we get to know our friends, the more we know about them, the closer we feel to them, it's very much about connecting with the people in the orchestra. We find out about the, the personality of the individuals as well as the, the facts behind them. And for example, we love the singers of Darienzo. Darienzo himself was not a great fan because he was reluctant to have a star at the front of the orchestra that wasn't him. Now, Animal Troilo, his skill came in playing less than was written. The magic is what he does not play on the mandolin. The book is divided into four categories, the simple orchestra, the rhythmic, the lyrical, and the complex. Each of those orchestras, their personal stories, signature sounds to recognize them, the singers, and the musicians that gave us the unique sounds. For example, fantastic Cayetano Puglisi, Carlos Dante, Julio Martel, and, and, and. I listen to Sali's left hand on the piano and I can hear Presedo playing the bandoneon in the 1920s. Everyone hears music differently, you know, chan, chan. D'Agostino, Angel Vargas, with his own voice is the signature sound of D'Agostino. He's got middle distance and kind of whispers. Yeah. It's always a great moment when we are listening to the music and it's like the light going on. We absolutely now know who it is and because of this book we know something about the musician, the singer or the orchestra leader and all of that comes together and we suddenly feel a, a much closer connection. As ever with these things, of course, it's not every one, and then you listen to one and there's nothing there, and you think, yeah. what's he on about? <laughs>